The band are called Plugs, named after some kind of electrical conduit. Uh, they are now the full-time job. It used to be the side project of, now the full-time job of, Morgan from Does It Offend You Yeah? The track is called Imaginary Friend. You're listening to Enemy Radio. Before that, I played you North Wales' finest, the joy formidable with whirring. So how are you doing on this Monday morning? It is like a ghost town out there. I, w- I got in from a gig late last night. Everyone in the house was asleep. I left the house this morning. Everyone in the house was asleep. Do I exist? The streets of London are deserted. They didn't even want me to get into this building to do this show. Who can blame them? So uh, thanks very much for tuning in. If you've just found us as a... We've appeared on your radar, on your radio in Manchester, 87.7 FM. Welcome. But please let me know I do exist. Get in touch. Studio at enemyradio.co.uk. Text NME and your message to 65065. This is Tom. There was pressure on you to be the kind of new Joan Strummer, the new Lennon McCartney, Richard Jagger. Do you think that was too much pressure at the time? Uh, no, we loved it, I think. Very happy as Larry, but I think it was just a very a personal thing that that went that went astray. You know, it wasn't. I think outside influences were weren't so important. It was just two different two people going in really different directions for a long time, and whereas just sitting down together in a room and you know being at, at peace with each other and wanting to write music together which is what had always held together in the past, just wasn't wasn't happening anymore, you know? You know, and that's where, that's where all the anger came from, you know? Because we were, the only time, it got to the point where the only time we were really talking was that, you know, between songs on stage, yeah. like, you know, asking each other for a light or something. We weren't, you know, we weren't, yeah, I don't know. He stayed, He went off like hanging around Primrose Hill set, Sadie Moss and all that lot. You know, he became one. He became one of them. I lost him. And, yeah. then, I, and then I thought, well, I'll have a bit of that myself and right. tried it a bit. And then sure. with Sadie Moss. Yeah. And now we're back to square one. Uh, that's CSS or Can Say Say Sexy with Left Behind, a song that I think uh, Love, Bo- Love Fox wrote about the position on her body uh, where she had Simon from the Claxons' name tattooed, her Left Behind. Before that, Ape School with My Intention. Ape School, the now kind of formalised project of Michael Johnson, who's been uh, sort of working his way around various musical projects over the years, but finally he's found a home, a proper home, Ape School with a real band. The track is called My Intention uh, and it's being released on Ninja Tunes. Uh, you're listening to Enemy Radio, it's Neil Cole here. One of the sort of top five things I've ever done in my life was I saw a football match at that River Plate Stadium and it is incredible. So mm. there must be something seriously wrong in the state of Denmark if he's not enjoying those gigs. Exactly. I know he's talking about releasing a solo record when this uh, tour sort of finishes off, be it a single or something like that. So maybe that hasn't gone down too well with uh, his younger brother, perhaps. Maybe. Oh, I have seen pictures though in the, in the tabloids today of Liam standing out sort of Eva Perron style on the balcony of his Buenos Aires hotel room, which is quite funny. He's, I don't know if he knows that he's copying Eva Perron, yeah. but he is, uh, although she wasn't topless when she did it, thankfully. Uh, So (laughs) what else can we report? Hi, I'm Neil Cole. Join me this Wednesday from 6 o'clock when I'll be beamed at you live from Brixton Academy, where this year's Enemy Awards take place. The winners, the losers, the drunk and the... Oh, dear. The only place you can hear it all, as it happens, is on Enemy Radio. So, for full live coverage of the Enemy Awards with exclusive backstage gossip, plus interviews with special guests and the award winners, obviously, listen to Enemy Radio this Wednesday from 6pm. Enemy Radio. Tinchy Strider in the uh, tabloids today is talking about how small he is. It's very cruel. Uh, I think that's why he's called Tinchy Strider. I think he acknowledges it in his name. Um, says he's five foot one, has been dating Asian Kamal, uh, who's uh, three inches taller than her, so she has to bend down in a kind of Nicole Kidman, Tom Cruise sort of way uh, whenever they're around, which is a little bit cruel. But he could always do what this Australian politician did uh, this she's called Hajnan, Hajnan Alban uh, and she put, basically she was very paranoid about her height and wanted to be taken seriously in politics so she went to Russia where they broke her legs in four places and slowly stretched them over the course of nine months uh, and now she's five foot four and a successful politician ow extreme but it seems to have worked you know, I was watching a documentary yesterday in the cinema about a man who uh, had adamantium put onto his skeleton uh, which made him indestructible no hang on it wasn't a documentary it was X-Men Origins uh, Wolverine um, which apparently 
all the ladies love. Uh, apparently, it's because you get to Hugh Jackman in the nude, uh, running around, and lots of topless, topless Hugh Jackman, which I f- frankly think is sexist or exist. Um, but at least I, I suppose it redresses the balance because you've had three films of seeing basically a large blue naked woman, <laughs> which was very happy. You know, made lots of men very happy, which was mystique, of course. Nope, it's not uh, Stone Roses, it's Green Day. Know your enemy on Enemy Radio. Enemy. Enemy Radio. Brand new from the Prodigy from their album Invaders Must Die. It's called Warrior's Dance, prompting from me not so much a warrior's dance, more of a loser's dance. Luckily it's radio, so you can't see me. Enemy Radio, it's Neil Carl. How are you doing? Uh, if you're listening in Manchester on 87.7 FM, give me a ho! I heard you from here, that's good. Uh, everyone else, you're still welcome. I'm not alienating you. If you're listening on the internet or through your telly, you're very welcome also. Just wanted to report that on my commute into the studio this morning, uh, I saw that bloke again, uh, the one who's reading uh, the book about Wikipedia. Now, I saw him last week, uh, and I thought, what is the point of reading a book about Wikipedia? That's like reading a book about the Encyclopedia Britannica, or looking for Google with a magnifying glass, or even searching for Google on Google. I couldn't understand it, so I saw him again today. He's still reading the book, and he doesn't seem to have got any further into the book, which makes me think that, like the website, it's still under construction, that the book is being built as he's reading it, and you get to an end of a chapter, and it goes, this chapter was a stub. If you can expand this chapter... Or this is going to. This needs verification. Uh, this chapter will be removed shortly. So I, I reckon that it's a never-ending book that he reads on the tube. What do you reckon? Or uh, am I missing the point? Is there a very valid reason for there to be a book about Wikipedia? I don't know. So uh, music on the way from Folds and Block Party. But this is Yeah Yeah Yeahs with Soft Shock. Mm-hmm. 